looking for today. Thernius averaging 14.9 points per game coming into this contest. Bloodsworth, corner three. That one's gonna fall, just like we talked about it, the primary ball handler, also able to score from the outside. All around great player for the Seagulls, the sixth year, the fifth year, excuse me. And you see Jordan Oates pulling down that rebound. His vertical is absolutely ridiculous. He's able to pull in more than 10 boards a game. The 3-2 zone as the Seagulls banging around, and there you go, the man we just talked about. Jordan Oates able to hit from the outside. Garcia with three. He's able to convert. Paul Garcia to Craig on the elbow. Takes to the cup. Wing three from Cordell. Open. Does not fall. Craig able to follow the shot. Get an offensive rebound. Does a little bit of dribbling. Pump fakes. And able to make a pump. Brandon Craig able to make his own shot there and push the lead to double digits. Hands are up for the Broncos, almost like a zone look, 3-2. Bloodsworth puts on the deck, floater, falls. 22-9 is the score. Try and get some points on the board. And yeah, the Seagulls have been able to get some buckets here and there. Greg Bloodsworth is the elbow jumper. Second, check that second three of the day for the Broncos. Brandon Craig, pump fake on Keonis, left hand under the layup, able to fall. Oates. Gives it up to Firestein on the wing, looking for the high pick and roll. Cross court to Burdell, almost taken by Miller. And Gray Burdell works in, gets the block, but able to fall off the shot and put it back up. Bloodworth now, going to start off the offense. I like the pace the Seagulls are going, methodical on the offensive side as Bloodworth gives up to Burdell. Oates on the block, cross court pass to Garcia. Garcia takes it to the cup, left hand layup, bangs it in. That one was sweet right there, able to change hands in the air. Left hand layup for Paul Garcia. Heard. Three on the free throw line. Gives it up to Goyana. Goyana, corner three. That one falls. Gary Burdell. The gloves with 15 seconds left. The shot clock is off. It looks like the Seagulls will get the last shot. 10 seconds. Eight. High pick and roll. Thought about getting it to Oates. Cameron Heard gets a baseline. Three seconds. And Brandon Craig able to score deep in as the Seagulls use all the time up correctly and able to convert. 35-26 is the score here in the first half. The Seagulls up by nine. Had a great play, just no help from his teammates. Wigby in the corner. Cross court gets knocked down by Oates. Bloodsworth now able to take it. Transition offense now. Bloodsworth, corner three, Jordan Oates. That one is able to get it back now. Miller on him. Bloodsworth to Goyana. Thought about the three. Got Keonis moving and a nice layup. Heard gives it back to Oates. Thought about the three with Keonis on him. Gives it to Goyana. Corner. That one falls. Oh, Goyana is a stifling shooter, especially from those corner areas. JP Miller. Three fouls on him so far. Looks for that to be a factor. Pump fake. Tries to go in a block by Gary Perdell. Cameron Heard. Perdell. Ooh, shakes pass battle. Floater, knocks in, and Gary Burdell, G5, able to score. Has proven already to be able to beat top 25 worthy opponents as they went up to Penn State Altoona and took care of business. Bloodsworth works in deep, rattles around, and finishes. Able to make an athletic play and finish at the cup. Bloodsworth, it's a fire sign to Craig. Craig puts on the deck. Floater, falls. Brandon Craig having himself a great day. Desmond Creek passing it in for the Seagulls. Finds Goyana. Thought about the wing three. Steps back shot. That one falls. Goyana has himself a game on the outside.